uh, one win, uh, but in a lot of ways, I think for, for the club, uh, a big win. I think we faced uh, some adversity this week, uh, losing a couple key players. Uh, we talked all week about guys stepping up in, in big spots. The other reason it's a, a, a big step for us is the fact that uh, some homegrowns uh, weren't just on the field, but were on the field uh, leaving huge impacts on the game. So uh, special from that standpoint. Obviously uh, great for Anthony to get the goal. Uh, great for Austin to play as well as he did. But overall, uh, a team effort from uh, every player that was on the field, all 11 guys attacking, all 11 guys defending. Uh, really happy uh, from that standpoint. I think credit to CJ Sapong too, draws the red card, uh, probably kicking himself in the in the foot at halftime because he had three good looks, but stuck with it. His teammates around him uh, kept giving him service. He talked about it at a halftime, uh, get him one more and he'll, he'll bury it. And uh, he did that. So overall, uh, I think uh, after a very hard preseason physically, uh, pushing the fitness level, uh, the guys go out on the field and, and execute it and they won. And I have to be honest, as a head coach, you know, player coaches will sit up here and say they know exactly what their team's going to look like in week one. Uh, and I think they're all full of it uh, because week one in MLS, as you guys have seen from the scores, uh, can go a lot of different directions. Uh, and credit to our players for all of them stepping up, young, old, experienced. Uh, Andre Blake making a big save uh, at a key moment in the game. Uh, so everybody did their job, and that's what we preached all season uh, when we're all 11 together, just doing our job. Uh, we're a tough team to play against. So happy to get the three points. We recognize it's one win, but in a lot of ways, uh, a big win. Thank you, Jay. We'll start here with Ryan. You've been with Anthony for a, a long time. How, yeah. how good did it feel for you to see that, that happen? Yeah, it, it's uh, a special moment for the kid. Obviously, scoring your first goal is, is amazing. Uh, obviously, playing in your first uh, professional match is amazing. Uh, you can reflect back to when Anthony was in the Union Juniors when our youth academy literally was, was just started. There was a, you know, a 40 by 40 patch of, of AstroTurf where this young group of, of nine-year-old kids was on the field uh, that had kind of a dream of, of maybe someday playing for the Philadelphia Union. Uh, you think of Austin being there as well with Ian Monroe, with Phil Karn, uh, with myself, and to see them now. Uh, take this step uh, in Town Energy Stadium uh, under the bright lights is, uh, is something that's special. You know, they've deserved it though. Uh, a lot of people you know, think that it's by chance or a little bit of luck or this or that, but they've worked their tails off to get where they're at. Uh, it's a proud night for, for both of their, their families, uh, for their parents. Uh, it's, it's a proud night for, for our youth academy and the work that they do there, Tommy Wilson. Uh, so it's a big day. Uh, and, and again, I think a lot of people, uh, right now it's a hot topic, who, who uh, talks about playing young kids, who has good young kids on their team. Uh, a lot of teams are, are talking about it, and, and I think tonight we showed that uh, by putting them on the field, uh, they can deliver and they can do it. So uh, really happy for Anthony, really happy for Austin. Derek Jones stepped on the field tonight too and did a good job and closed out the game. So uh, to have three of them out there was special. Uh, we have some good ones in the stable as well coming up. So we're happy with where we're at in that regard. Uh, but needs to be said that uh, homegrowns aren't going to succeed on the field unless they have an Alejandro Bedoya, uh, a Harris Madun Janine, and an Andre Blake behind them to, to help them. So uh, it's not just one or the other, and I think we have a pretty good blend with our group right now. Go ahead, Jonathan, front right. You spoke during the week about being confident, but a little nervous yeah. with these guys. The composure that they showed tonight, Anthony with the finish, mm -hmm. and then Austin with the tackle on Agadello. That Half the time probably could have been a penalty if you're not careful. How, yeah. how impressed were you by that? Yeah, so the recovery sprint that Austin makes on the one where um, it probably to the eye looked like it was offsides, where he gets in behind, uh, uh, wasn't offsides. <laughs> and Austin made maybe what would you call a, a rookie mistake where he gets caught square, but has the recovery speed to, to get back and, and make a tackle. Uh, he made a couple big key tackles in the box, won a lot of aerial duels in the box, uh, did a lot of the things that, again, don't show up on the stat, stat sheet for center backs because there's not a lot of data that you can go to for center backs. But uh, the thing that makes me most proud is that there's a zero at the end of the day. And that's what's most important. So that means Austin did his job. 
which was really good. I thought Anthony was in and around the box, uh, arriving late in the box in the first half, even when it was 11 v 11 uh, in the key moments of the game. So I thought he did a good job, showed composure, uh, did a good job of, of not complicating things. We set him up to play one and two touch early just to get into the game. Uh, he found good, good pockets of space, but also um, I'm still going to be hard on him because he probably should have scored two more goals. To be honest, he should have scored the header that he kind of turtle headed, we'll call that, uh, where he kind of bailed out a little bit. Um, so we're going to continue to push him. Uh, he played a, a good good soccer game tonight, but there's still more in the kid. So uh, it's it's a real positive start. Uh, but again, we're greedy and we want more. A couple more go Matt for bro. Jim, the decision to bring on uh, Corey yeah. and Jay. Um, yeah, we we put a real emphasis in the preseason uh, in training that that ties are 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 useless. Ties are no good. Uh, ties are two points dropped, uh, and that has to be our mindset and mentality. That takes a lot to flip, uh, and we're not there 100 percent yet. But I think by the subs, Fabian started to fatigue. You know, Anthony. Um, Put a lot into it and, and maybe start to slow down. I didn't like where the game was kind of at. They started to have a little bit of the ball. Uh, so rather than be defensive, uh, we were proactive and, and, and threw Corey uh, in, in a wide spot and Jay underneath uh, of CJ to try to shake things up. Uh, I thought Corey came on the game, into the game and made a huge impact uh, right away with the assistant and also just drawing fouls, running with the ball. You guys can see how powerful he is now in the open field. Uh, he was possessed tonight and in a brief amount of time. He made the most of his minutes. He turned the head of the entire technical staff. Uh, so uh, a big, big spot for him to come in. Uh, Jay was underneath, you know, didn't have his sharpest night, uh, but at the same time still contributed and did a lot of running defensively for us. So, uh, yeah, I would say that it was to be proactive rather than reactive uh, at home. Uh, and especially now when we go on the road, uh, we want to have the mentality that uh, a tie is two points dropped. We've trained that in, in practice. The ties are useless, so uh, we're trying to shift that mentality. It's not an easy thing, um, but uh, that was probably a, a factor in, in the substitutions tonight. Go ahead, Matt. Could you please talk about your relationship with Brandenburg uh, following a night like this? You have plenty of steel in the seat. Graduate, so to speak, excelling. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Brendan, Brendan uh, does an incredible job with our uh, Bethlehem Steel team. Uh, you know, his staff, uh, Stephen Hogan and him, uh, do a good job developing players. Obviously, our academy it starts there with the with the really young ones. Uh, again, we've created now a pathway for them, uh, an environment where uh, we've proven that you can go from one to the next to the next and, and get on the field uh, for our first team, which is. Something that people see, something that young kids see, and they will aspire to achieve. Uh, so the environment now has been created uh, at certain points. Players do become responsible for that development. You know, the coaches have to uh, kind of walk around with uh, some fertilizer, drop a little bit, and water it. And, and you know, sometimes the flower's going to grow. Sometimes uh, you might get a weed. Uh, but at the same time, we at least have to have an environment that, that gives them a chance to kind of blossom and get better as not only uh, players, but as people. Uh, uh, and are we perfect yet? No, I'll, I'll never say that. We still have a lot to work on, but yeah, Brendan is doing a, an incredible job with Bethlehem. Uh, my technical staff has done an incredible job uh, in the preseason. Uh, people forget it is a completely new staff. We probably have three or f four people that you guys hear about, but then also behind the scenes, from the scouting to the data analysts, the things that Ernie's provided, uh, that part has increased drastically. Uh, compared to previous years, uh, when I can remember sitting on the, the bench for the Open Cup final with a, a two or three people that were there, now we have a, a staff of seven, eight guys that are all in this together that, that want to just get us better. And Brendan would be a part of that. Last one with a job right here. Fabian Herbers, one, why of all the choices that you have, just in general, why, and two, when did you have to make the decision? Oh, so. The incident with Fafa obviously happened two and a half weeks ago. Um, I don't think it was handled the best way in terms of communication uh, and the timeline of when we were notified by things. So it made for a uh, situation where during the week we had to train uh, kind of with Fafa taking partial reps, uh, kind of with Fabian taking some partial reps. Ayuk took some. Uh, and you know, from that standpoint, we made a decision. Uh, 
I'll be the first to tell you, and, and so will uh, Fabian, it was not his best preseason. Uh, he was not sharp. Uh, he wasn't the, the elite player that we know he can be. But uh, credit to him tonight, I thought he put in a good shift for the team. Uh, had a couple good attempts at goal, created some chances, did a good job for us, um, and stepped up. You know, we, again, we talked all week about being down a few guys with injuries or, or guys suspended, uh, and we needed people to, to rally around them, uh, everybody to help out and, and do a little bit more. Uh, and I think that Fabian uh, responded well to a, a difficult situation, uh, stepped in and, and did a good job for us. Thank you, Jim.